Michelle from Vulture Magazine here with Mikhail Peskalev sipping on his coffee in the middle of Melbourne. He's being very Melbourne right now. Oh, it's open. Yeah. Yes, it's open. <laughs> so Mikhail's in town. Well, he's in Melbourne for some shows before Splendor in the Grass. Oh my God, exciting. Um, okay, so tell me, what is life without losers like? Because I deal with a lot of losers and I don't know what that's like. Ooh, such a deep question. Um, I think life without losers is kind of boring because uh, you wouldn't have winners, you know, without losers. Is it all about winning though? No, but it's about losing as long as you try to win. When you do lose, it's fine, but you got to go after something or do something. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay, now I see the angle. <laughs> but you're trying to be all like... Okay, so Splendor, uh, who are you hoping to take your pants off and dance with? Wow. Uh, Andre 3000. Really? Yeah. You think that's going to happen? No, <laughs> but I would like to. <laughs> okay. Are you sick of people asking you to take your pants off yet, just like I did? What was that? If are you sick of people asking you to take your pants off? A little bit. Yeah? <laughs> you regret it? Uh, no, no, not at all. I really enjoyed doing it, and I'm not sick of it, not at all, but uh, I don't know, I've just heard it before. Give me something original. Me? Yeah. You have said that Quentin Tarantino is an influence for you, correct? So which film of his would you wish you could be playing a character in, if you were to go back over his filmography? Wow, that is a good question. Maybe uh, from dusk to dawn and play Quentin himself. He's pretty cool in that movie. He dies though, that's okay. He dies and he's pretty gross and perverse, but he's kind of yeah, cool as well. He's really perverted yeah. at that. Yeah, yeah. He's cool though. <laughs> the way he looks at the toes of that. Nah, oh man, he just grossed me out. When I thought so, that. Mikhail's a pervert. <laughs> Thank you. You got two great video clips, Drive Baby and I Spy. Which one was more fun to shoot? Putting aside the pants thing. Um, yeah. uh, I spy only took like a day, uh, and it was just me dancing for a whole day, which is fun. But then uh, Jai Babe, I kind of uh, went with some friends to my grandparents' village, where we spent five days, I think, uh, filming. And it was uh, me and my producers, kind of little ID and baby and. Uh, how we wanted to be there and the aesthetics of it and so on and so on. Uh, the director is a good friend of mine, so it was, it was more of like a good time and it, it was more of a, I don't know. Aside from dancing, which I have done a lot of as well, I practiced it. Uh, that was just it for I Spy. I just came with the idea of dancing and then I danced, whereas the other one was more challenging. Maybe. Yeah, that's the answer. More challenge. Wow, that just took two minutes to get more challenging. So why did you decide to go by Mikhail and not your actual real name? You mean like Sean? Uh, Mikhail. Uh, because I've actually never been called that. My uh, mum only uses that name when she's really pissed off at me. And she'll use the entire name. Uh, and kids in the kindergarten couldn't say my first name, so they always called me Mikhail. Uh, so that is actually my name. I would think that my hair is actually harder. Maybe, really? Actually. Uh, yeah. Well, in Norwegian you say it slightly different though, like Mikael. Oh. Uh, yeah. But uh, Sean is just not, a, a, at least not 27 years ago, is not a normal Norwegian name. What does your mum sound like when she's saying your whole name when she's mad at you? Uh, there's no way I could do that justice. <laughs> 
Um, actually, just thought of a question. Pretty, pretty Boy Floyd Records. Yeah. Are you releasing anyone else other than yourself on that? No, Pretty Boy Floyd is just like uh, I had to uh, start it just to uh, license my album to Universal and other uh, record labels. But I do have a record label with my producer, uh, which is called Obscenic. And we did a release of a single for a band called All We Are, which uh, I think are doing pretty good in Australia at the moment. Played at Triple J frequently. Yeah. And uh, doing an EP, maybe even an album with a guy called James Canty in a bit, which is just an amazing guy. Not just because he's my friend, he's just crazy good. He puts me and everyone else I know to shame. Um, yeah, that, I, I do have one of those labels, but that's not Billy Boy Floyd. Cool. Well, that's Mick, John, if you're his mother. And uh, he likes to lick toes just because Quentin Tarantino did. So if you've got toes, keep away from him. That's good. That's good. That's what I'm supposed to do. Peace out.